Welcome to today's video where we address a certain phenomenon which is observed in cancer cells and this is called the Warburg effect. And the Warburg effect was actually discovered by a physiologist called Otto Warburg who also received a Nobel Prize. This effect is a metabolic phenomenon observed in cancer cells. These cancer cells switch their metabolism completely to glycolysis. It is yet not completely understood why cancer cells shift their metabolism in that direction. However, in this video I will just describe the phenomenon called Warburg effect. First we have to take a look at the normal cell. And in that case we are in the absence of oxygen. So there's no oxygen around. And we'll take a look which kind of metabolic pathway a normal cell will choose in the absence of oxygen. So when the normal cell takes up glucose, glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm and it will yield an end product called pyruvate. So now we have no oxygen, that means no oxidative phosphorylation. In that case, lactate is produced. This procedure yields 2 ATP per mole glucose. So now we assume that our cell lives in an environment which is oxygen rich. We have oxygen. Again, the cell takes up the glucose, glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm and pyruvate is generated. Cells contain mitochondria and in these mitochondria the tricarboxylic acid cycle can take place and also due to oxidative phosphorylation we have oxygen here. It is possible to generate 36 ATP out of just one mole glucose. So in the presence of oxygen the yield of ATP is way higher due to the process called oxidative phosphorylation. Cancer cells are famous for their high glucose consumption. But there was one phenomenon which was discovered by Otto Warburg and that was that even though we are in an aerobic environment so we have a presence of oxygen, the cancer cell will not do oxidative phosphorylation. Instead, the cancer cell's metabolism will shift to aerobic glycolysis. So let's go through what happens here. In the cancer cell, which takes up the glucose, again, glycolysis takes place, yielding pyruvate. However, the metabolic way of oxidative phosphorylation is blocked in cancer cells. Instead, they shift to lactate production, and that means our cancer cell produces just 2 ATP out of 1 mole glucose. Again, I said it is yet not completely understood why they do that. Cause this way is very energy inefficient. That was all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope it was helpful and check out the other video I put here. It's about cancer cells. Otherwise, I'm out. I thank you for watching and goodbye.